Hello everyone, I hope all is well. So yesterday kicked off Black Children's Book Week. Black Children's Book Week was started in 2022 by children's author Veronica N. Chapman. She said she created the event because she wanted to make the world a better place for Black children. The week is an opportunity to engage in activities that center Black children's voices, experiences, and imagination. There are several ways you can support this project. You can promote the event via your social media. You can purchase Black children's books from Black bookstores. You can check out Black children's books from your local library, or you can attend a sponsored Black children's book week event. Um, and a lot of these events are being held virtually, so you wouldn't even have to leave the comfort of your own home. <laughs> I wanted to share some books that my child has at home that folks might be interested in getting for the Black child in your life. A few books I received free from attending library events for kids, which is another reason why I love the library. Free events, sometimes free snacks, and always free books. So the first book is called Crown, an Ode to the Fresh Cut by author Derek Barnes. And I believe I shared the news article um, on Barnes um, that his um, Black History Month event, I believe it was, was gonna be in Alabama um, at a school. Um, they were trying to cancel it and I think they did wind up canceling it or he just decided not to, you know, deal with it. <laughs> I'm gonna blame him, um, you know, there's been a uh, attempt to um, ban a lot of books by Black authors and actually have been, you know, succeeding in doing so, um, as well as, you know, targeting a Black History Month event. So um, definitely want to support this author if you can. His books are wonderful. Um, this book is all about, you know, a young Black boy getting haircuts, um, like how the beauty salon is the rite of passage for young Black girls. The barbershop is the rite of passage often for young black boys. Uh, I wish I could show inside, but it's hard to, you know, hold the camera in, <laughs> um, open the book, but um, there's beautiful illustrations inside. The story is wonderful and empowering. So definitely I would uh, recommend this book for your child or anyone, you know, you know, black child. <laughs> so the next book is actually one I got free from the library. It is called Harlem Grown, and it's about a community that decides to start their own garden, which has been the case for a lot of communities across the country, right? A lot of people have been, you know, going back to um, their roots, um, going back old school and starting their own gardens, growing their own food, um, trying to be healthier, or just trying to have, you know, something the community can work on together. Um, it's once again, another wonderfully illustrated book, definitely recommend. And what's so cool about it that we were also given, my son and I were also given these um, seeds um, to start our own little garden. Um, they gave us, they gave these to us with the book. So I'm looking forward to planting these this spring. So I thought that was pretty cool. They gave us our own little seeds. So yeah, um, definitely a great book to check out for your kids, especially if they are interested in um, gardening and plants and that type of thing. Oh, I'm sorry. And this book is by Tony Hillary. The next book is a book, actually, my friend, she is a children's author. She's not a black um, children's author. She's a woman of color, but she's a black, she isn't a black author. But when she went to an event to um, promote her own book, um, she met this author. Um, his name is Robert Trujillo. I practiced this name like 20 times. I think I still messed it up. <laughs> I apologize. Um, but he is an Afro-Latino author um, <clears throat> in the book. Another book about, you know, a young um, boy going to get his first haircut. It's called Fru Kwan's First Flat Top. Um, so, uh, and the book is um, half English and half, half in English and half in Spanish. 
once again wonderful illustrations um yeah so another one you want to check out all about getting the first haircut and um the book was signed too by the author so uh, i thought that was pretty cool that my friend gave it to me she knows i'm all about books for my kids so this is pretty special to me that is signed and yeah <laughs> And then the next book is also another book I got free from the library. It is called Change Sings. Um, it is based on a poem written by Amanda Gorman. Um, she was the young black poet that spoke at the um, presidential um, swearing in. Um, once again, beautiful illustrations. Um, the poem is very beautiful. And yes, once again, another little positive um affirmation to black children and just all children um that we can all make a difference in a change in the world you know so yeah so these are all the books that are currently uh well some of the books i you know he my son has way more books than this but um these are a few of the books um that he has in his um library at home so yeah definitely encourage people to check these out um it's another way to support black children's book week which I think is a great idea, you know. Um, I think we don't give enough space to black children, and yeah, this is a great time to do that and support black authors, and um, yeah. So I hope you enjoyed all the books, and I will see y'all soon. Bye-bye.